learning can be fun and cost conscious. Now the college is hosting another free first Saturday at the museum with the theme camouflage. Cody standing by yes. with more. Yes. Okay. Uh, real quick, hands up if you're from the state of Alabama. What? Uh huh. Three out of four <laughs> on your TV screen right now. Sorry, Lori. <laughs> California. Rachel, what you got going on this weekend? We are doing our free first Saturday for the fourth. Uh, we will be celebrating Jaws, Claws, and Camouflage. I had to make it right. I had to I make it right. I, I want to be from Alabama now. She used the Southern draw for good and not evil. You had to make it right. You did. Camouflage. Yes, we're talking about predators versus prey. Okay. okay. And uh, you know we really love the the Circle of Life song from The Lion King, so we decided that we wanted to celebrate all things hunting. Hunting and defense. Okay, okay. So we'll be talking about animals and how they hunt, uh, whether it be jaws or claws, uh, or maybe even some cool camouflage. That's cool. I'm this sorry. is a T Rex. What is that? So this is a T Rex uh -huh. uh, claw here. You just want to see it for scale. Uh, really neat. If you look at this horned owl, you'll see a very similar claw. Oh, yeah. And even over here on the crane, because uh, birds are descendants of dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happens, Cody, if you are not the hunter, you are the hunted? Oh, you gotta how hide. Do you, how do you save yourself? You gotta camouflage. You can camouflage. <laughs> uh, there's different ways to defend yourself as an animal in our natural world. You could do uh, a really cool chemical defense, mm. like our friend the skunk. Okay, here, okay. Or squid when they ink out. Uh -huh. uh, you could do a physical defense, like holler monkeys when they when they call out. Oh yeah, It's yeah. a warning. Um, it's our version of stranger danger. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Uh, and then you also could just hide in your your natural environment, uh, in your element, like this, uh, the horned owl here. Um, a lot of people ask us at the museum, well, how would that camouflage if you were an animal? Most animals, especially mammals, are, are dichromatic. They only have the ability to see two wavelengths of color. Oh, okay. Humans are trichromatic. Uh -huh. We can see red, we can see blue, and we can see green. And so our cones are, are highly developed, but not like bees. Bees can see hundreds of thousands of colors into the infrared. Ooh, really? Oh, yeah. Did not know that. Well, they're pollinators, and some of the patterns we've discovered in plants fall into that infrared shade that we can't see with our eyes. Oh. So we're going to talk about really cool stuff and about you know, predators and prey and hunting. We'll have rad snacks. We have zebra cakes, oh. Gatorade, uh -huh. and roast beef. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. I see, I see we have really, really, We're out of time. You painted my arm for nothing. I'll we're do it do anyway thing. for you. She was going to camouflage my arm, a little Auburn uh, action. We'll oh, do it anyway fine. for you. You have a little more time. Okay. There we go. I can't see. Orange and blue. So. Well, she's an Alabama fan too. She's, she's oh, okay. Crimson so she's so, marking you as prey right now. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, good day. We'll be out there live uh, to show you what's going on out there. But if you have not been to uh, the Sierra College, it is amazing the stuff they have there. Looking good, codes. I like it.